viewers, today uh, we'll be doing a video demonstrating the steering column gear change on, uh, on a 1950s car, which is quite a smart feature of the time. Uh, I notice there aren't that many videos demonstrating the use of it. Right, here is uh, one Toby dog, yes, and the gear lever in question. So the first thing you have to do is consult the operation manual, which you should do with any car when you want to know how to do something, but it's surprising how many people don't. Which, uh, there you are, it gives full instructions on the gear change. The best way of explaining it, I suppose, is to imagine the normal floor change H gate tipped on its side, which is what this is. So as we can see, first, first gear is up, straight down for second, up and across forward and up again for third and straight down for fourth which is top gear on these cars because practically all British cars were, were four speed apart from some Fords and Vauxhalls and standards and then reverse you, you pull out like that and it's straight down into reverse which it's not going at the moment because the engine's not running and I don't want to force it. So that really is uh, quite self-explanatory. So the, the only thing left to do now is to actually demonstrate this. Let's wait for the oil pressure to come up. See that? Yep, handbrake here. Pistol grip, right, reverse gear. Clutching straight down. It's a neutral first. Doesn't have synchro mesh. Usually it was in first time, but of course now that we're filming it, it doesn't want it. Never wants to. So we're now in second. engage from about 20 miles an hour and it'll pull right up from there but the nearer you go to 30 the better really. seating in the front. Uh, there's no reason why it should be sloppy. Uh, it should be, these gear changes should be precise. It just depends how well they were designed uh, the manufacturing planning stage uh, by the designers. I know uh, Rooks uh, made made some uh, 
quite sloppy ones, uh, which I've had experience of myself, that they're not as nice to use. Uh, I believe Jowett in the Javelin and Jupiter made a very uh, precise column change, but that is essentially it.